Hi everyone. I'm here to tell you another story about water. Last week I went to visit my friend who was camping in the Shenandoah National Park. There were four of us, Sandy, her son Alex, and his fiance Gabby, and then there was myself. We were excited because we planned to inner tube down the Shenandoah River. We woke up early enough and looked at the weather forecast. It said there was a chance of thunderstorms later in the afternoon. Sandy was told the trip would take about two hours. We had plenty of time. Then when we arrived at the Shenandoah River Outfitters, we had to sign waivers and get our inner tubes and vests. It was sunny, so we made sure to put sunscreen on too. The lady at the registration desk told us that we should not bring any cell phones or keys or glasses or anything that we could not afford to lose in the river. I asked her about what would happen in a storm too. She said that if we saw lightning to get out of the water and find a place to wait it out, but not under big trees. Okay, I guess. So she also told us that the trip usually takes three and a half hours, a little longer than we expected. Then we boarded a bus. As soon as we got on the bus, the driver told us it will take five hours. Hmm, that might be a problem. We got off the bus, picked our inner tubes and ropes so that we could tie ourselves together if we wanted. Of course, the lovebirds tied themselves together. Sandy and I wanted to go solo at first to get used to it. The water was awesome, clear down to our toes. And it was very shallow too, only waste high most of the time. The weather was hot and sunny. We enjoyed the first hour, especially when we got to rapids. I tied myself to Sandy because she wasn't able to make great progress, and I had been swimming two miles a day prior to this trip, so my muscles were in good order to cut through the water fast. I learned that backstroke butterfly was the best way to get through the water fast, especially laying flat on top of the tube and using legs to kick. So if we had to get out of the water fast, I could get her out. All the while, we were enjoying our trip. Soon enough, we heard thunder in the distance and it kept getting closer. Then we saw a flash of lightning in the sky. We all went to shore, but knew the storm would last a few hours because we read the forecast. What stuck in my mind was the fact that many other people on, the, on kayaks and inner tubes just kept on going, as if there was no storm. Now it was raining hard. We sat at the side of the river where a campground was and ventured our way to a family who let us borrow their phone. We called the Shenandoah River Outfitters number, but no one answered. The group decided to start walking. As we did, a man in a pickup truck stopped. He asked what we were doing and where we were going, thinking that someone was injured. We told him why we took ourselves out of the water. He said, no, you have to go back in. The pickup point is across the river and there is no way to walk, it over, walk over there. Besides, the water is the safest place to be in an inner tube in the water because the trees are on both sides of the river, they are taller than you, and you aren't grounded in the water. So just go back in and enjoy the journey. That's what we did. We tied all four of our tubes together and passed many fishermen on kayaks, enjoyed a family of 11 tubes tied together. Whenever we got too close to shore, I was able to use my butterfly butterfly backstroke to row our boat to the center of the river to catch the best current. Eventually we made it to our stop sign and got out. The bus was there to bring us back to the outfitters and there I spoke to a woman who told us to get out of the water. There was another family who listened to her and may still be out there for some time. It was four o'clock at this point. She explained that they would send someone out to find them if it got too late. When I got home, I decided to do some research because why? Because you're never supposed to be in the water in a lightning storm. That's why pools close and everything. Getting back in the water in a thunderstorm went against everything we have ever been taught. I wanted to find an article that said it was okay in certain situations. There are none. The only article I found was one where a woman in North Carolina was to inner tubing and did get struck. But her injuries were minimal, and the doctor said it's a good thing she was in the water because she wasn't grounded, she wasn't injured badly. Well, my takeaway from our experience is this. 
we were really lucky we were not struck by lightning. And if you can get out of the water without being stranded in the woods, you need to do it. In many situations, you are the tallest thing around you, and you would even attract the lightning. So even though we survived it, avoid water and thunderstorms. <laughs>